everybody there YouTube today I'm going to show you how to properly hook up your bumper pull trailer to your tow vehicle now uh, first things first obviously got to make sure the trailer tongue is jacked up high enough so that your ball goes under uh, you also want to make sure your hitch is adjusted properly for your trailer but that's another video also, you want to make sure that your trailer has, and the ball for the, on the trailer hitch are the same size. There's a sticker on the trailer, two and five sixteenths inch ball. Sometimes it's stamped somewhere on the tongue. Uh, you can figure it out. And I know this ball is two and five sixteenths. So, uh, to hook it up, make sure you're trailer is jacked up enough either have a friend or if you have a backup camera like I do or you're just uh, eyeball it and guess like I've done many times in the past and you get good at it uh, back up to the trailer so that the ball is right underneath the coupler next thing you're going to want to do is take any locks you have off now some of them, if you have a bowl lock, you're going to take that off before you back under it. It's easier. Make sure your coupler is open. Up all the way. Like that. And just jack her down. There's a few different styles of couplers. I'm trying to source trailers with all the different kind of couplers to show you or I might buy them, we'll figure that out, but uh, this is the most common type. Jack it up. Some of these have a extendable leg where you can pull a pin and slide it up if that's the case. You can do that now. This one does not, so you gotta keep cranking. Until it's up off the ground enough that you won't drag it on speed bumps, curbs, whatever else. Good enough for hitch four, we're just going down the street. First things first, I try to do this in order of importance. So the first thing I do, so you do not forget, I lock the coupler and I pin the coupler with a hitch pin, not a stick, not a bolt, not a fucking, who knows what, a pin, hitch pin. First things first. Next thing. My hitch is a little tight, so I put the breakaway on before the chains. But in my opinion, the chains are more important than the breakaway. But you can do it either way. I just do it this way. It's a little easier. Breakaway. I put a carabiner on mine. If you don't have a carabiner, pull it out of the switch, run it, the cable through itself, and then back into the switch. Next is safety chains. Make sure they have a latch on them. Some of them do not have latches, and it's just a little rubber keeper that you slide up over the thing. That's for really small trailers, some boat trailers, motorcycle trailers, and such. This is, I'd say, a medium duty type trailer. We have the S hooks. Right onto your hitch. Receiver, both sides. Make sure your chains are crossed. That not only is the law, but it helps if your ball was to come uncoupled or the receiver pulled out or whatever happens. It's supposed to help catch it and not tear up the road at one. Two, send the trailer lurching in all kinds of different directions. It's to help maintain as much control as possible to something you can't control. Uh, next order of business is your lights. This is a seven way. It's a little dirty, not too bad. It'll work. 
Make sure it's clean, dry. Might want to put a little dry electric grease on it if you want to. Put it into your outlet like such. And then the last thing you want to do is turn your lights on. So at least your parking lights, because that will work all the lights markers on the trailer. So your marker lights in your four ways. That'll so you can check all your lights and make sure they're all functioning. Uh, if it's a new trailer to you, or you're renting a trailer or whatever, do itching each individual turn signal because it wouldn't be the first time I've had a trailer where the wires were switched. So right turn signal on the truck was a left turn signal on the trailer. You're gonna want to get that fixed but that's it it's that simple just make sure that you have the right size ball for the coupler on your trailer and you will be fine but uh, I hope that helps you guys and uh, thanks for watching if you are interested in more want to see more don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and until next time stay crazy have a good one